hey you guys it's lucky Duffy here for a video so i haven't been putting videos up in a while um that is because the holidays started i haven't had any material and we moved rooms me and my brother so my brother's been in maybe two videos of mine and um we switched rooms so this is my room now but was originally his so a bit of a different background including the fact that there is now a horse picture in the corner here which i think is nice in a way um it was actually i painted it but it was a paint by numbers so um okay so this is not a good pasta video um it's going to be a what is in my makeup bag because as you can tell i do not wear makeup what is in my makeup bag and how you put on a wig because those are two things that go together in a way because especially for me because i don't wear makeup in day-to-day -day life i just wear it for cosplay and actually, for the last cosplay, I went as Haku, which is this wig here. And I got my mum to do my makeup because I can't do makeup. Um, and I went out uh, shopping for makeup with her. And it took an hour. Well, not really an hour. I exaggerate. It took like half an hour to find the right foundation because I've got very pale skin, which you can cannot see in this light because the window's behind me and there's no light source here. There's a light there but it doesn't work so the foundation color we got was like called light ivory and it's literally apparently the palest of the pale um but i'm not allergic to it which is good um and so yeah so it was like we were trying to find something and i ended up with um patches of different colors on my face because my mum wanted to check if it matched anywhere on my face so she put it on her hand, go like that, and then you just go me. So I ended up having like patches, streaks and everything, just different colours, and it was weird and awful. I've also got uh, eyeliner. This is brown. Kind of. It's like a very dark brown colour. And I am not good at putting eyeliner on. I can put un I can put white liner on. So this is eyeliner, but it's white in colour. And I put this on my waterline, which is that thing there. And um, it's put there so it makes your eyes look a bit bigger. Um, and it's just, I use it when it's for cosplay because it makes it means that like your eyes look bigger. This is my mum's makeup brush. I'm not sure what it's for. I think it's for. The, I think we use it for the foundation. I don't know if it's got any other uses. <laughs> I'm not very good at this. Um, I've also got eyeshadow, which I was given by my aunt in a package from Lacoste. So I had this, two perfumes, two shower gels, and a lip balm. Um, I was allergic to all of the Lacoste stuff, except this and the lip balm, so I kept those. Um, I think I've also got the perfume in there for my friend. Um, this is a, uh, a mirror that I was given by my friend, and I've I don't use a mirror very often, but because uh, we've got mirrors all over the house. But this one's very pretty because it's got that on it. No idea if it was a souvenir or whether she just bought it in a shop and was like, "Oh yeah, this will be brilliant." Um, I've got face. I've got um facial wipes. So they are. I use them as makeup when I'm doing wipe, but then I highly doubt they're very good for that because they are textured and they. They're called facial wipes, but they hurt your skin. <laughs> um, or they just hurt my skin. I, either one of those. Uh, I've got two wig caps in here. I've got this one that my mum gave me, which is literally, which is actually a wig cap, and this one that's made out of a tight. I prefer my one actually because this one doesn't fit my head entirely well, and it also makes me look a bit bald. Whereas this one just makes it look like I'm wearing a wig cap. Hello, cat. You just opened my door. How dare you? I'm keeping. I keep them both out so I can show you which one looks weirder. Um, and then I've got a whole bunch of hairpins. I'm trying to find all of them. And I've got a, got a Q-tip for um, for a makeup for YouTube. Damn it, I'm dropping all of these. So I've got a whole bunch of these, which are hairpins. And they're used to make sure I use them for keeping my wig in place um and for the wig cap we've got basically there's one 
for me again. Uh, do I have anything else? I highly doubt it. I don't have a lot of makeup, so I don't use it. Um, hang on, just checking the mirror. Oh, got sun cream, spot cream, and hair dye. You know that powder dye? That hair dye? Yeah, that's the hair dye I've got. Okay, so I'm going to be putting on this wig. It's my nice, well-kept wig. It's the only wig I've really, really, really kept well because I hardly ever wore it and I always had it on my jaw and I like brushing it because it's really soft and really smooth. Also, if you're wondering why I'm showing you the back and not the front, it's because I'm decorating my wig head. It looks terrifying at the moment because I'm sequining it. So the paint looks even worse. Uh, okay. So this is the beige one. No, I'll put the grey one on first. This is the grey one. And you put a wig... Does it even fit with my head? No. Apparently not. I'm putting a wig cap on it. That's it. And get it over my head. Oh, it smells like perfume. It's all good. So first of all, it looks like I'm wearing a weird bandana. Okay, that doesn't fit me. <laughs> that didn't work. Right, you're going then. This one just about fits. It's a bit too small. So this is actually a proper wig cap that my mum got for me when she was out shopping. Sorry, I'm trying to tuck on my hair and it's working. Okay, you'll look like a weird, bald, kind of baldish person for a while until you put your wig on. So usually when you're putting makeup on or anything, you will wear this and then put your makeup on and then you put your wig on because otherwise you can get makeup on your wig and that's just like a cat. Go away. So... It took me three, forever to learn this, but uh, on the inside here, <laughs> there are clips. If they are undone, what you have to do is uh, you clip them into this bottom bit here. I mean, my one's actually broken, but you have to clip it into one of these loops in the bottom here. Eee. And the loops here, you take that and you clip it in, because that sizes it, so that it stays on your head. But I don't actually need it for this, only because I'm going to keep it on for a while. So... You always work from the front, but because this one's a long one, long girl one, I'm going to... So you put it on at the front, and you pull it from the back, like that. Oh my god. A wig in front of my head. Where is it? Where's the clip? There it is. Can't even work out where half its head is. So you can see I've got it too far back. So what you've got to do is you've got to pull it into your uh, hairline. That's too far. So you pull it onto your hairline. There we go. You pull it onto your hairline so that it's like it's growing out natural. It's really thin. It's really weird. See, I've got thick hair, and when I had long hair, it was a bit thicker. wig is too thin in the fringe. There's a clip to my headline. Greatness of having clips. So, just quickly gonna put this under here. Okay, so usually what you do, if you're gonna wear this, you take these, which are, this one's a bit weird looking because it's bent, um, but you take one of these, what you do is you stab it forward, flip it, and you tuck it backwards through the wig and the wig cap. Um, sometimes you would do that through the wig cap into your hair as well. Um, usually I do two at the front, two at the back, 
and sometimes at the side if it's a shorter wig so then you forward spin back and then usually sometimes I I flip it over to hold it in place and you know I do hitting your hair and everything and then it's like so it means you can move your head and it won't fall off and yeah and I've got this done off at the back so it's just like I can pull everything off so yeah uh, so yeah, this is not the best quality wig in the world because it's really super sticky. You can feel the fact it's so stuck in there. Yeah. Uh, also, this is the bag I made for my makeup because why not make a bag of everything bag? Um, so yeah, thanks for watching this tutorial. This wig is actually a nice purple colour but you can't see it in this light. It just looks like a weird, weird, weird purple brown. Hello cat. Come on. Come on. So both the cats still coming to my room. Alright. So I shall see you guys when I do. Um so this is the last week of the holiday, so next week I'm starting school again. Um oh, don't bite me. So I'm starting school again. Um and on that weekend I'm going to my Gymkhana and then Saturday after that. Uh, the next big event is in October and September. Is it September? I can't remember. But one of the big ones is in October there is the MCM London Comic Con. London MCM Comic Con that I'm going to. And I'm going to Sam Germany. I've currently got the trousers, boots coming soon, making the top soon. Wigs getting coming here soon, so stay tuned for that, I guess. Um, so yeah, I've got a cat on my lap, I've got a wig on, life's good. So I hope to see you guys soonish. I will, I promise, I will start making videos more often now. So yeah, Deco out. <laughs>